This is John Del Vecchio from Street Skills with another garage motorcycling drill for you to work on. Today let's practice looseness. Looseness is another one of those skills that is really hard to explain, to put a finger on, but we know it when we see it, we know it when we feel it, and when we're loose and relaxed, it promotes better brain activity and physical skill performance such as riding a motorcycle. It's also worth noting that a motorcycle responds better to inputs from a relaxed rider. While a motorcyclist's entire body should be loose and relaxed, we're focusing more on upper body relaxation and looseness techniques. I like to refer to something called the neck to hand linkages. And what I mean by that is from our neck, through our shoulders, through our arm, elbow, wrist, right to our hand, those linkages or points of contact should be relaxed. And we can feel what it's like to tense up where they're not relaxed and those linkages tend to be nice and stiff. And we want to zero in mostly on our loose and level forearms. Now what I mean by loose and level, as you may recall from a previous motorcycling drill, that was that we're going to try to keep our forearm as parallel or, or level to the road surface as possible. Please keep in mind they don't have to be perfectly level, all right? But it's just a starting point to make sure that you're relaxed. Here's what to do when you practice your looseness in the garage. Try to sit on the motorcycle center stand so that you're neutral on the motorcycle. Consider your neck to hand linkages and loosen them up. Then just use the handlebars as you normally would, push and pull on the grips as you normally would. You may even want to add another controller to the brake, the throttle in this position. As you're doing this, try to transition from very tense muscles in upper body to looser. Now while you're practicing nice neutral inputs in your steering and body movements, tense up and transition from being tense to loose and see how those inputs are affected from one extreme to the other. You can also really zero in on certain parts of your upper body that seem to get tense more than others. Most people find shoulders and arms can get very stiff when they're riding along. You can also practice a simulation where you might be tipping into a turn and as you're about to initiate the turn with counter steering, it's a good time to exhale. So we might want to pretend we're making a left hand turn, take a nice deep breath, and then exhale as we turn into that corner. One final note, if your arms are not in a comfortable position based on ergonomics or the type of motorcycle you have, here's a couple quick things you can do right now while your bike is parked to get yourself in a better position to be loose. One of the simplest things you can do is loosen the handlebar clamp just a little bit and rotate the bars in the clamp. Sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of a rotation to put yourself in a more relaxed position. Also, you could install new handlebars. You can install handlebar risers. Another thing people can do is raise or lower their seat. Many motorcycles today have adjustable seating positions. But consider the ergonomic setup of your motorcycle because that's going to have quite an impact on your ability to be comfortable, relaxed, and loose as you operate the machine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and like. Hit the notifications bell below if you'd like to get some more garage motorcycling drills to practice. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Street Skills Moto, and I look forward to your questions and comments. If you'd like some more information on how to be a more relaxed rider, you can pick up my book, Cornering Confidence, on Amazon, Kindle, and paperback formats. I'll even sign a copy for you. Go to corneringconfidence.com. You can also sign up for my interactive online course. You get a coach for life 
And I look forward to getting messages from you and hearing your comments and questions. Take care.